All right, today we're gonna to look at the second part of um, 6.4, uh, just ones that are maybe a little bit more difficult, um, and that way we can, uh, yeah, the, just ones involve rational coefficients. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. It's just like we're doing two-step equations, um, just with a little bit a little bit extra here. Okay, so um, you can either continue from your notes yesterday or start kind of a new one. Uh, so here's, here's a problem right here. Let's say we have, um, one fifth R plus four is equal to negative one. Okay, so this is just like two step equations, just like the last lesson when we're doing two step equations. Remember, you want to do, you have to undo what is happening, right? And remember, you have to go in reverse order of operations. So let's go ahead and go through the steps here. We're going to draw our wall. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I see I have a plus four, so I want to get rid of the plus four. Okay, well, I have, a, I have one fifth times r, and I have plus four. Remember, the variable is on the left side. Uh, we found the variable, which is r. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, I need to get rid of the four and the one fifth. Uh, the four is farther away here, so I'm going to do minus four on both sides. Okay, remember that, what's that going to do? That's going to cancel out the plus four and the minus four. Because that's zero, those cancel out. Negative one minus four, okay, is negative five. And now I've got one of these types of problems, which is a fraction coefficient, right? And again, we dealt with this in 6.3. We had uh, fractions and decimals as the, as the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variable. So again, remember we looked at this and we said, okay, well, it's one fifth times R, but what we really wanna do is not, divide by a fraction, we want to multiply by the reciprocal, right? Which in this case would be five over one, right? We want everything to cancel. So five over one times five over one, okay? And why do we do that, right? Because we want everything to cancel out, right? Fives cancel, ones cancel. So all I'm left with here is R. And then I'm gonna go ahead and multiply here. This is five over one, nothing cancels out. Negative five times positive five is a negative 25. So it's just like the, the problems we did in two-step equations, but again, now the coefficients are just uh, are fractions instead, which I know are a little bit more annoying, but we can do it. So now let's go ahead and check. Remember, we always do our check work here. All right, so I've got one-fifth, times r, which I said is negative 25. Plus four should equal negative one. So let's go ahead and do the work here. We say, all right, one fifth, this cancels, that becomes a one, that becomes a negative five. So I have negative five plus four should equal negative one, which it does, checks out, I can go ahead and Box my answer up right there. Okay, let's try another one of these just to make sure we got it. All right, zero is equal to six plus one third y. Six plus one third y. So this one's a little bit different because the variable's on the other side, but that shouldn't be anything that we can't handle. So let's go ahead and go through our steps. First thing, we wanna draw our wall. Okay, so now we know the variable is on the right side. There it is, y. So we need to get rid of a couple different things. We need to get rid of the one third and we gotta get rid of the six. So the first thing we're gonna get rid of is this six. Now this remember, this is a positive six. So we, there's no plus sign in front, so we can just put one there. This way we know, oh, I need to subtract six to get that out of the way. Both sides, okay? So what's gonna happen here? Let's go ahead and cancel these out. This becomes zero minus six or zero plus negative six is negative six. And I'm left with one third y, okay? So now we do the next step, which is the same as we did before, okay? Same as we did before. And we can say, all right, I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal, right? So I'm gonna say, okay, let's multiply by 
three over one here on both sides. Now, this is a little harder to look at because that Y is in the way, but you get the idea, right? You're still going to get the threes to cancel here, the ones to cancel here, and all you're left with is, okay, all you're left with is Y on that side. And on the left side, we got nothing else to cancel, so we end up with 3 times negative 6 is a negative 18. Let's go ahead and check it. 0 is equal to 6 plus 1 third times negative 18. All right, well, let's go ahead and, and double check here. That becomes a 1, that becomes a 6, negative 6, that is. So we got 6 plus negative 6, which of course is equal to 0. That checks out for me. And there you go. So again, the problems are very, very similar. Again, if you know how to do the two-steppers, right, you take care of the adding and subtracting first. And then if you remember how to do the co coefficients, then we're in good shape. Then you just have to get rid of the fraction just like you did before. Um, let's try one more, just with a uh, decimal, just so you can see how that one works. Okay. All right, let's say this. Um, 0.2x um, minus 4 is equal to 10. So again, let's go through the steps. So 0.2x minus 4 is equal to 10. So here we go. Let's draw our wall. All right. We go over here. We see the variable is x. So we got to get rid of the 0.2 and the positive 4. So first thing, I to get rid of positive 4, I'm going to add 4 on both sides. That cancels out. This becomes a 14. And this becomes a 0.2x. Okay, so remember what we did here. We didn't like the fractions, so we're going to rewrite it. We're going to move the decimal over, right? We're going to move that decimal. That one becomes uh, 2x. And this one, remember, has to become 140. So our new numbers are 2x is equal to 140. So like we did on 6.3, we moved the decimal. You want to think about we multiplied by 10. That's what we really did. All right. And then the last step, nice and easy. We know we need to divide by 2 on both sides, right? Divide by 2, divide by 2. That canceled out. We're left with x is equal to 70. X is equal to 70. Okay, let's do our check. Let's make sure. 0 0.2 times 70 minus 4 should equal 10. Okay, so 2 times 70 is 140, but 0 0.2, so that's actually going to be 14, minus 4 is equal to 10. That looks good to me, All right? So it's just a combination of two-step equations like we just learned in our last lesson and then the rational coefficients, decimals, and fractions uh, like we learned in 6.3, which make things a little more difficult. Um, but that's the whole thing. Again, same sort of steps, just a little bit harder because you have those fraction and those decimal coefficients, but we know how to get those out of the way. Remember, fraction and decimals are regular. They're just numbers, but we know, again, we know with fractions, you have to do a little reciprocal. Right, so if you look at this one right here, right, instead of one third, we multiplied by three over one. Okay, on this one right here, instead of to get rid of the one fifth, we multiplied by five over one. Okay. And then on the decimal ones, the third problem, okay, we move the decimal. That's the that's the tricky part, so that we don't have to worry about it. Okay, all right, and so that's it. Um, that's just a little bit of some of the harder problems. Uh, in lesson uh, 6.4. All right, that's it.